Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The most excellent names of Allah, their blessings and the impact of understanding them in our lives. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in His ever glorious book, The most excellent names belong to Allah. Use them to call on Him and keep away from those who abuse them. They will be requited for what they do. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Knowing the most excellent names of Allah is the best sort of knowledge. Therefore, the Sharia commands us in the glorious Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, to memorize those names, understand their meanings, and to act according to them. The Almighty Allah says, So bear in mind that there is no God but Allah, and ask forgiveness for your sins and for the sins of believing men and women. Allah knows whenever any of you move, and whenever any of you stay still, Allah also said, Then be aware that Allah is Almighty and most wise. In the Qur'an, we also read the following verses. Remember that Allah is self-sufficient, worthy of all praise. Allah also said, Indeed He is the all-hearing, all-seeing. Allah also said, Allah is the provider, the Lord of power, the ever-mighty. Allah also said, He is Allah, there is no God other than Him. It is He who knows what is hidden as well as what is in the open. He is the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy. He is Allah. There is no God other than Him, the controller, the holy one, source of peace, grantor of security, guardian over all the Almighty, the Compeller, the Truly Great. God is far above anything they consider to be His partner. He is Allah, the Creator, the Originator, the Shaper. The best names belong to Him. Everything in the heavens and earth glorifies Him. He is the Almighty, the Wise. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah has 99 names, 100 minus 1, and whoever knows them will go to paradise. Understanding Allah's most excellent names has a great impact on our lives, because it is through such understanding we know Allah the Most High very well. When the polytheists asked the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, to tell them the attributes of Allah, Allah revealed to him, saying, he is Allah, the One, Allah, the Eternal. He begot no one, nor was He begotten. No one is comparable to Him. When a person realizes that Allah is oft forgiving, the most merciful, most pardoning, most friendly, most generous, most loving, most generous, he will have a great hope in Allah, will seek approaching Him, and will increase His supplication. Allah said, and he is the most forgiving, the most loving, and said, He is limitless and all-knowing. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Your Lord is modest and generous, and is ashamed to turn away empty the hands of his servant when he raises them to him. Whoever knows that Allah is all-hearing, all-seeing, all-knowing and all-observing. He, sur he sur surrenders all affairs to Allah, obeys Him, and keeps away from disobeying Him. He who knows that Allah knows His secrets, His private affairs, and public ones, He knows everything inside Him, will work to get His pleasure, and avoids everything that dis displeases Allah. Glory be to Him. Such understanding is a cause to be mindful of Allah the Almighty, and a motive to perfect one's actions and prepare himself for meeting Allah, glory be to Him. The more a person knows about Allah, the more he will be mindful of Him. As the Almighty Allah said, It is those of His servants who have knowledge of Allah, who stand in true fear of Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, By Allah, I have the best knowledge of Allah amongst them, and fear Him 
most amongst them. As for praising Allah with his excellent names, it is a person to get his love and a gate to enter paradise. <clears throat> Once the Prophet, peace be upon him, appointed a man in charge of any army unit who led them in prayer, the man always concluded his recitation with Surah Al-Ikhlas, say he is Allah the One. Upon their return to Medina, they mentioned this to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, who said, Ask him why he does so. The man said, This surah contains the attributes of Allah, the gracious, and I love to recite it. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, then told him, Your love for this surah will make you enter paradise. Whoever desires to bring good to himself and protect himself against evils, let him praise Allah with his excellent names, and let him remember Allah's much with these names. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who recites three times every morning and evening in the name of Allah with whose, with whose name there is a protection against every kind of harm in the earth or in the heaven. And he is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Nothing will harm him. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that making supplication to Allah with his excellent names is the way to get your supplication answered and a means to get rid of troubles, sorrows, and get your sins forgiven. The Almighty Allah said, The most excellent names belong to Allah. Use them to call on Him and keep away from those who abuse them. They will be requited for what they do. Allah also said, Say to them, Call on Allah or on the Lord of mercy, whatever names you call Him. The best names belong to Him. Our Prophet, peace be upon Him, said, Anyone who is afflicted with grief or sorrow, and he says, O oh Allah, I am your slave, and the son of your male slave, and the son of your female slave, my forehead is in your hand. You have control over me. Your judgment upon me is assured, and your decree concerning me is just. I ask you by every name that you have named yourself with revealed, with revealed in your book, taught any one of your creation, or kept unto yourself in the knowledge, in the knowledge of the unseen that is with you, to make the Quran the spring of my heart and the light of my chest, the banisher of my sadness and the reliever of my distress. If he said so, Allah will remove his grief and give him joy instead of it. Once the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, entered the mosque and saw a man who had finished his prayer and after reciting the Tashahud, he said, O oh Allah, I ask you, O oh Allah, I ask you, O oh Allah, the one, the eternally besought of all, he begets not, nor was he begotten, and there is none comparable unto him, that you may forgive me my sins, your most forgiving, merciful. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, he was forgiven, repeating it three times. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, used to invoke Allah the Almighty with his excellent names. He, peace be upon him, used to say, when he was in distress, there is no God but Allah. The incomparably great, the compassionate, there is no God but Allah, the Lord of the mighty. Throne, there is no God but Allah, the Lord of the heavens, the Lord of the earth, and the Lord of the honorable throne. How much do we need to realize the meanings of the most excellent names of Allah, the Almighty, so that our souls may be purified, our hearts may be reassured, our dealings may be improved, and our prayers may be answered. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and to raise its flag high among all countries of the world.